Before we get into the video, people, I'm giving away 11,500 Apex coins every single month. To be in with a chance of winning them, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and have that bell notification button ticked. Drop a like on the video and leave a comment down below. More details are in the video description. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you news of Season 2 of Apex Legends. Too little too late? Well, you decide. I think what Respawn have confirmed uh, is actually coming with Season 2 is pretty damn great though. But hey, they have took their time delivering such content, which is the problem I feel most will have. But let's get into it. Okay, so Respawn announced details on Season 2 and what we can expect, as well as a limited time game mode coming next week. So let's first check out the details on that limited time mode quoting Respawn right now. Hey Legends, as we approach June, we want to give you a heads up on a fun in-game event coming next week, as well as just some of the first details on Season 2's Battle Pass. The hunt begins. Starting next Tuesday, we'll be kicking off a new event called The Legendary Hunt. This limited time event will last two weeks, and with it brings all this to King's Canyon. Apex Elite Q. Test yourself against the best with the Apex Elite queue. Make it to the top 5 in any match to earn your way into a select queue full of other top 5 winners. Here's the catch. In order to continue playing in the queue, you will have to keep placing in the top 5. Legendary Hunt Challenge Rewards. Complete a set of limited time challenges and earn new rare, epic and legendary skin. So that's the event people and it drops next week. Should be quite cool. Quarter and respawn again. Double XP weekend from Friday, June 7th at 10 a.m. PST through to Monday, June 10th, 10 a.m. PST. Earn double XP on base progression and battle pass progression. Battle pass bonus XP. Finish top 5 in any match and earn an entire battle pass level once per day. Legendary Hunt store skins every 3 to 4 days during the event. We will have new Legendary Hunt theme skins rotating through the in-game store for direct purchase. Two additional Legendary skins for all Battle Pass owners. Players who have the Wild Frontier Battle Pass will automatically get the Legendary Honored Prey R301 skin. Players who reach Battle Pass level 15 before the end of the event will get the Wraith Night Terror Legendary skin. We'll have more details to share with you next Tuesday, but for now, get ready for the hunt. On screen now people, we can see the legendary Honored Prey after your one skin, and the legendary Night Terror Rave skin, which will be a part of that hunt mode. And they look absolutely amazing people, these are the skins we want to see, don't you agree? These are super unique and I actually feel the means of earning them is something many Apex fans want to see in the game. In game events offering such rewards is a great way to keep people coming back and playing in my opinion. Let's hope we get many more in the future. Okay so let's move on to the details dropped by Respawn on the Season 2 Battle Pass. Quote and Respawn again. Season 2 Battle Pass will be revealed at 10am PST on Saturday June 8th. We'll be sharing some of the first details on Apex Legends Season 2 as part of our EA Play livestream. Today we want to tell you about just a few of the high level improvements you can expect from our second Battle Pass. So without further ado, we'll let our lead product manager Lee Horn tell you more. Take it away. Lee Respawn here with an update on Battle Pass Season 2. We've been listening to the community's discussion regarding the Season 1 Battle Pass and have gotten a ton of great feedback from players. Today we're excited to share just some of the changes and improvements you can expect with the Season 2 Battle Pass so you can know that we are headed in the right direction. TLDR, too long didn't read on just some of the coming improvements. Level up via daily and weekly challenges. Time to battle pass level 100 should be significantly reduced. Three additional legendary skins added to the rewards track. Three entirely new content categories replace badge and stat track rewards. You'll earn enough crafting metals from the full reward track to craft a legendary item or whatever your heart desires. Daily weekly challenges and improving the grind starting in season 2. You'll be able to complete a mix of daily and weekly challenges to level up your battle pass. If you miss a few weeks or start late, your weekly challenges will still be around for when you return and you can complete 
delete them all at once. While we don't want to introduce wacky challenges that drastically warp the way you play the game, these challenges should provide some interesting variation from game to game. This means all players should feel more rapid battle pass progression and the journey will hopefully be more fun and interesting. Also the addition should allow players who can only dedicate a few hours a week to the game to make a very deep cut into their battle pass progression. More legendaries. We're adding 3 legendary items to the battle pass and there will now be a legendary item every 25 battle pass levels in the premium track, including at purchase. So that's level 1, 25, 50, 75 and 100. Our goal is to have a nice balance of cool character exclusives and cosmetics for everyone, like weapon skins. The level 100 reward will be an evolving weapon skin and a special recolor version for those players who make it to a level 110. New cosmetic types and no badge or stat track rewards. On premium path, we removed badges and basic stat trackers completely from the premium battle pass rewards track for season 2. You'll still get a seasonal badge, but it'll be a single evolving badge that won't take up any additional reward slots. We've kept seasonal win trackers in the free path, and they will all be earnable in the first 10 levels. You'll also be able to earn items from free new content categories in place of badges and trackers. We'll be revealing details about these categories closer to the launch of Season 2. Earn enough crafting metals for a legendary item. We're replacing the voice lines with crafting metal rewards. You'll now be able to earn enough crafting metals, 1200, to craft the legendary item of your choosing. So if there's an existing item you've been culverting, you'll be able to get it in Season 2. You can still get additional crafting metals from the various Apex packs in the Battle Pass as well. We have a lot more to tell you about what you can expect in Season 2, so make sure you tune into our live stream on Saturday, June 8th to hear what else we have in store. So yeah people, Season 2 actually sounds really good and the way I feel we expected Season 2 to land. The fact they have listened to what we want is pretty cool too, and from even the minute details on Season 2 Battle Pass, I can tell you Season 2 will be a million times better than what we got with Season 1. Daily and weekly challenges were a must and they've been included. More exclusive rewards and stat trackers and badges removed, great move. All this with the new Battle Pass paired with limited time game mode events with even more stuff to earn is absolutely great in my opinion. So season 2 is shaping up to be amazing. On June 8th, which is a Saturday, 10am PST, which I believe is 6pm UK time, this is a date we will learn more about season 2 of Apex Legends from Respawn themselves. And you guys can be sure I will have you covered right here on my channel. If anything else drops between now and then guys, again I will have you covered right here on my channel. Guys let me know what you think about all this down below in that comment section. If you've got any questions you can leave a comment down below or hit me up on Twitter at dpjsc08 which is linked within the video description. But guys on that note, I am out. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leaving a rating truly helps me out. Enjoy the rest of your day and hopefully people I will catch you on that next one.